morning everybody when you see the hawaiian shirt the hat no i'm not boogaloo boys i'm getting ready to do some electrical work today let's explain what's going on one thing that i have a real hard time controlling here on the rancho is well leaks and they they come up they spring up they've got to be dealt with and it's a real you can see this is still moist from before when i dug that and it's a real pain because this time of year the well can run dry and as a result, that pump will just run and run and run and run and run and it won't cut off. Then the electric bill goes sky high. So I've decided I'm going to mount a timer that runs that. So worst case scenario, it'll run for about one hour every day. And I think that that will be uh, okay. So let me show you what I got. This is the timer I got. It's rated for outdoor use which is nice See how that cover closes so it has the undermount i'm going to put a plug on the pump it's going to be grounded of course and then it'll plug right in the bottom right there so i'm going to try to hardwire the uh, power into here i'm going to open this up and see how hard that would be for starters i've gotten the unit taken apart so i can preserve this connector so all we have to do is bring the uh, wiring into the bottom of the box on this side and we should be and uh, we should be good to go let's go outside and see where we're going to mount it up safety first and just my usual caution if you don't uh, understand electricity or want to be involved in it that's a good thing Leave it to the pros for absolute safety. Being as I wired the whole place, it's not a big deal. I just cut the breaker off, so I want to check that now. So we have a good dead circuit right there. So I'm gonna uh, remove this and see if I can just pan see if I can just mount the box in place of that. So that's gonna be the next step. You're gonna be a happy pump. I really like this uh, connector here. I don't think I would get a better seal. So I'm gonna do some rewiring. Instead of converting this to a plug for uh, here to plug in from the pump, I'm just going to uh, hard wire the pump in and do a little reconfiguring on the wiring inside. So it'll be in much neater and uh, watertight assembly. I think we got that set up pretty good in there. I cut out this uh, these wires down here for the plug are irrelevant. Now we're direct wired into the to the uh, pump, so we do have an on off switch. We'll try here and off. It looks like we're doing pretty good. So all we have to do is. Um, Finish setting this up and get this uh, screwed down and we are good to go. I think this is really a nice setup now the way this turned out. So we're making sure that the clock works. So I've got the power on. I want to make sure that it is, uh, it is advancing here. And we can put our pins in for our start and stop time. But pretty happy. Coming back to make sure that the uh, clock is actually advancing on the timer here. It's plenty hot today. And this will be triggered to go off at 8 p.m. tonight. And it'll turn off at 9 o'clock. Let me see. Yeah, it'll come on about 7.45. And it'll go off at um, 9 o'clock. So that'll be fail safe. And it looks like the clock has advanced. It is 2 o'clock now. So it looks like that we are in good shape here and i'm really happy about the way they turned out so i want to thank you guys for being along on another project today your thumbs up are appreciated don't want to be facing a catastrophic electric bill again and this uh hookup really ended up looking real good so thumbs up are appreciated and uh can't wait to see this in action